Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another episode of Minefields. Now you wouldn't believe it, but this is actually the 20th episode, and so what I decided to do is actually add in that intro there. So that's going to be my intro for this series now. The song in the background is actually made by a person that I have on Skype, so a big thanks to him. Uh, I don't know his name, I've, it's on Skype, but I just can't remember it right now, and I can't be bothered opening up Skype, but you know who you are, thank you. Uh, it's currently still in production as well, uh, so the sounds and stuff might be changed um, in the future. You'll probably hear it if you just keep watching this series. Um, so yeah, I thought it, would, it wouldn't be a better time to do it than the 20th episode, so I hope you like it. But anyway, a little recap of the last episode. Um, I don't usually do recaps, but this recap is probably um, notable. So in the last episode... Um, I was playing some Hunger Games with Nabs, and then I came back to record the episode, and I noticed the chat still had the Hunger Games crap in it, so I decided, um, I, well, I didn't decide, I thought that forward slash clear actually gets rid of um, the text in the chat, but it actually clears your inventory, and I was like, oh my god, I am such an idiot. And... I asked you guys if it was alright if I spawned my items back in, at my items back in, uh, back in, and you guys said it was cool. So I spawned only my diamond tools. I couldn't really be bothered doing the rest, and I also put the enchantments back on because I think if I was going to get the diamond tools back, I deserve um, to have the enchantments as well. So I got them back in, and these were the tools that I made in the last video. I'm probably just going to put them in storage because I don't need them right now. And they don't have any enchants, so they're kind of pointless to use. Uh, so what you see in front of me right now is my trading system. Now, I designed this in my experiment world. It's quite basic, quite simple. It's a one-to-one -one trading system, so I'll show you how it works now. For testing purposes, I've just used the currency as glowstone, and the item that you get is dirt. <laughs> ooh, dirt, ooh. Alright, now I'll show you how this works, so you simply just drop a glowstone in, and there we go, we have some dirt, you can pop another one in, get dirt like that, you can also, let me just grab the glowstone that I have in here, you can also just pop it all in, so if I pop 15 glowstone in, I'm going to get 15 dirt back, so pop that in, one, alright, hold up. Alright, there's something wrong here, whoops, hold up. What did I do wrong? Alright, that, wait, hold up. That's not supposed to do that. This is exactly the same design I made in the experiment world. And it worked, hold up. Oh, this thing here. Does that work? Don't tell me that doesn't work. Oh my god. This is supposed to be a clock here, and what it does is when it's powered by the redstone there, it actually flickers back and forth. Uh, but for some reason, it's not working. Hmm, I am not happy. I spent ages coming up on this design and now, wait, wait. there it is. C don't tell me that doesn't work. Maybe it has to be, have that red. Alright, here we try it out one more time. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it works. Thank you, God. Thank you. If that didn't work, um, I probably would have been quite sad. Now, I didn't actually tell how many how much dirt I had there so what we'll do is we'll just stick this dirt back in the chest there and if we go just grab that glowstone again it should give me exactly 15 now you pop that in command oh control Q well it's kind of awkward with the optifine um, that's something that should be fixed. I don't know if they're able to fix that. Alright, okay, I know why that did that. Don't worry. 
Don't worry, I got 26 because... Look, don't worry, don't worry. It'll be fixed after this one. It's just, uh, it had um, some stuck in that dispenser there from before, so... One last try, and this should work now. And it should work forever. Oh my god, I feel embarrassed right now. This design does work, trust me. Alright, pop that in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. We got our 15 dirt. And basically, this is just a one-to-one -one trading system. So you put one item in, you get one back. Now, what I'm going to do is finish building this stool off. Um, I'll show you the final design. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do the roof because I'm going to be using um, multicolored wool. Oh, I'm going to be using two types of wool, white and red. And then for other ones, I might use white and blue, white and yellow, white and green, and etc. Um, so I'll be back, I'll finish this off, and then I'll just show you what I've came up with. So I've built the rest of it except for the roof, and that is because we don't have a wool farm yet. That will be done in the future. Uh, we have Bob the Chosen One still chilling in this uh, little um, sh temporary sheep farm here. Let's just check if he's still there and make sure he's still alive. Because Nabus did... Oh, he's there! How you doing? Just keep being safe, Bob. We don't want you to die. You're the Chosen One. You will restore balance to the Force. <laughs> oh, God. I've been watching those movies uh, with my mum recently. Like, we just got into that mood where we just wanted to watch every single Star Wars movie again because like they're making uh, three more movies now um, which is weird because um, they're going to be set in between the movies so like we already know what's going to happen uh, but anyway what I wanted to do now is actually go on a little gravel hunt fill in all this path and then what I might do is build one more of these and then we're probably going to have to end the episode there so I'm just going to come back uh, once I've collected a bit of gravel. We're actually going to have to fix this path up a little bit. Just because it was just a basic outline. Just make it a lot smoother and a lot nicer as well. So I'm going to go collect some gravel and I'll see you guys in a second. back and I've placed down all the gravel now. I actually had to collect some more because I didn't have enough and I went over in that direction to collect some and I did but while I was there I actually saw some sheep so for the last bit of this episode we're actually going to collect them and create a proper temp sheep farm because our other one got exploded by a creeper and Bob is the only one left in it so he's the chosen one. I actually want to uh, color him yellow because he is golden he is golden. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm going to do now is build another one of these. Uh, just something I want to show you that I've just been working on. Um, I was think I was coming up with ideas. I need a way to refill the chests up there, and I've just made these this uh, ladder here where you can come up and refill it. But for storage, for the stool, you come down here. I've still got to fill this in. There's going to be like a little underground area here where 
um, it will have all the supplies in and I can simply just grab it out go up the ladder de -de 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 -de, and pop it in the chest here so that's a really cool thing so yeah that's really all I have to show you now uh, we're gonna get on to building the other one I'm not sure where I want to build it I might just um, build it here probably easiest uh, so I'll go get my supplies because my inventory is just cluttered right now um, I'll go clear all that I'll get all the supplies for this and then I'll be back so I've got all my supplies and what I thought I might do is just show you how I actually build this. So the first thing that we need to do is dig a 3x6x3 six, a three by six by three deep hole. Then at the front here we just place the chest and two hoppers on top of there. We place three blocks in a line in front of the chest. We get a comparator out. We place it facing away. Oh, there we go. Place two redstone on the other blocks. On the end block on the right side we have to place a redstone torch so we place that there we put a block here just so the redstone doesn't link up get your redstone out place it under there we get a redstone repeater and place it facing to the front put a block there and a bit of redstone on top and this is the detection system now we need to create a chest that will release the items and give them to the player. So all I simply have to do is just create a path up to the top. And we need to make sure it's connected to, this, connected to that redstone torch there. So we just go up like this, get some blocks out, keep going up until we get to this height. Then place two blocks here coming to the front and then we need to create a spot for the dispenser so we'll just come across like this get rid of that and then we need to place our dispenser in the middle here place a hopper going into it and then come on the other side here and place a hopper going into that hopper there and I just dropped something quite important now pop a chest on this hopper here and get your redstone out and then we're just going to bring it up to the top here and make it go into that chest there which then that will stop the items from coming out. Now the last thing that we're going to do is create a clock which will then um, give power to the dispenser which then that will fire the items out for you. So we're going to put a block in this corner and pop a redstone torch on top of it. Then connect this redstone here up to the block under it and that will turn it off. Put a block above it, place redstone on the block that we just placed and you want to place a comparator behind the redstone facing to the front and then we need to put uh, redstone around here and then pop redstone on top of this, uh, a top of, pop a block on top of that redstone there so it doesn't link up. Then a piece of redstone going into the block under the dispenser there which then will power the dispenser. And that is how you build this simple one-to-one -one trading shop. Quite simple. Um, so we're just going to put, for just for testing, put that dirt in there. I've already showed you in that one there. And then we need to actually have a, a, a currency. So I just want to use dirt and we'll put glowstone in there it should be we need a couple bits uh, we'll use wood instead because we got more of that oh god 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 no too much too much we need I'm not sure how much there we go we need 18 and then your currency in that one there now this should be working right now and now we're gonna just test it out we'll have to do one one we have to do it one test first it won't work oh yeah it will work the first time oh yeah, it's because there's dirt in there hold up put that in there you'll do it once and then the second time should do it there we go boom that is so awesome now I'm just gonna finish off the decoration of this so we're just gonna build that I have still got to make some redstone lamps but that is going to be quite easy so I'll come back once I've done that God, I hate creepers.
Wow. That's all right, I'll fix it up. I'll fix it up. So I had another idea for my stool. What I might do is add some item frames to it so it indicates what item you need to get such and such. So to do that I need some leather and this is probably the best way to do it. So we're just going to set a fire in my cow farm here. They're all going to walk into it and then they're going to drop some lovely cooked beef and some leather. Mmm, that leather. Mm. Oh my god, yes. Yes. It's so beautiful. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, this is just going off topic now. Turns out I can only make one because I've run out of wood. Wow. So we're going to have like one here and then the equal sign and then something something here. So that's going to be pretty cool. So I finished the second one off and what I might do when I build the next one is actually flip it around just so it doesn't look the same for every single one so this thing here will be on the other side and also another thing I want to do is have like a double one so there could be like um, two different types of things this person is trading which would be pretty cool um, instead of just a single one for every single one I don't want it to be the same um, I hope you get my point but anyway what we're going to do now is we're going to go collect those sheep that I found and then quickly just create a little temp sheep farm and then we're probably going to have to call it, call it an episode so we're going to go do that right now and we're actually going to have to go get some wheat come on my friends we will make you have good times together follow me if you want to they look so innocent like honestly they look like duh oh, where the hell is this guy going it's a crayfish Alright, um, we need somewhere to put them. I might just dig a hole in the ground, uh, maybe like here. Um, oh, no, 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 two, two drifters, F keep following. No, I'm over here, no! This way, this way, keep following. You come, come with me. I, I will give you food if you follow. So I've trapped them down in this hell hole and I thought it would be a good spot for them to stay. So we're just going to mark it out just so we don't lose it. So what we might write is um, sheep below don't rape. That should keep Nabus away from it. And there we go, this is the end of the episode, so if you, if you enjoyed this, please remember to leave a like. If you want to stay updated, make sure you, s you stay subscribed, because I do post these a lot, as this is my main series and there's a creeper. Um, <laughs> so again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.